Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Brit Reacts and today we are reacting to Ricky Gervais. Brutally, brutal honesty calls out everyone in Hollywood Golden Globes. No one punched him out. Well, this sounds like it was wild. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> Is that beer? Hello and welcome to the 77th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais, thank you. Um, you'll, you'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so <laughs> has he, I don't care anymore. Has he hosted a ton? Um, I have two observations other than has he hosted a ton? Well, that's a question, not an observation. One, is that a beer? Because it's not water. And I'm, it can't be apple juice. Like, is that beer? And then two, he looks really nice. This, I love the double-breasted, like, tuxedo jacket, but then the very relaxed collared shirt that's open. You know, typically it would be clothes with a tie or a bow tie, and he's got it very relaxed. I love that. Nothing better than a man in a suit. Um, I'm joking. I never did. Um, NBC clearly don't care either. Fifth time. So, I mean, Kevin Hart... <laughs> was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English. And they've no idea what Twitter is. So I got offered this gig by fax. So let's go out with a bang. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? Oh my Remember, God. they're just jokes. We're all going to die soon. And there's no sequel. So there is no sequel. Yeah. That. Everyone look, look, everyone looks uh, nervous. She is a comedian and she's freaking hilarious. I don't know her name, but the fact that she like raised her eyebrows, like, oh God, here we go. Those two older men look, everyone looks nervous, like super nervous. He is about to go in on them. Um, but you all look lovely, all dolled up. You came here in your limos. I came here in a limo tonight and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no. Shush. It's her, it's her daughter I feel sorry for, okay? That must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. All right, clearly I missed that one. It went right over my head. So feel free to let me know who Felicity Huffman is and what the license plate and her daughter have to do with this. So, lots of big celebrities here tonight. I mean, legends, icons, yeah? This table alone, uh, Al Pacino. Robert De Niro. Uh, wow. Baby Yoda. Uh, oh, no, that's, that's Joe Pesci, sorry. Um, I love you, man. Don't have me whacked. Um, but tonight is just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Not Look, happy. Talking of all you perverts, it was a big year. I don't know who half these people are. They're like all older people who's obviously like run Hollywood. That guy looked pissed. But I want to go back to the Baby Yoda comment to call any grown man Baby Yoda is... Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. It was a big year for pedophile movies. Um... Surviving R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland, Two Popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, <laughs> fifth time. Oh. So, we were going to do an in memoriam this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just, no. It was mostly white people. And I thought, nah, not on my watch. Nah. Uh, maybe next year. Let's, let's see what happens. No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. 
This show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win everything. Good night. But no, no, we got to drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer. And it's still more fun than this. Okay? <laughs> He is literally ripping them a new one, and it is hilarious. Also, when he said pedophile, it took me a solid 60 seconds to understand what he was really saying. <laughs> Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way, so in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up! I know he's your friend, but I don't care. <laughs> Seriously, most films are awful, lazy, remakes, sequels. I've heard a rumour that there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. I mean, that would just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one then. She is so stunning. Look at her, look at her. She's just a classic beauty, stunning, and she took that joke on the chin like a real class act. All the best actors have jumped to Netflix and HBO, you know. And the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and really tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. It's going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. Have we got, a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No. No point. We know we'd win that. Um, ah. Martin Scorsese, the greatest living director made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. He's not big enough to go on the rides, is it? It's tiny. It's true, it's true. <laughs> right. The Irishman was amazing. It was amazing. Um, look. long but amazing um, <laughs> it wasn't the only epic movie once upon a time in hollywood nearly three hours long leonardo dicaprio attended the premiere and by the end his date was too old for him uh, oh. <laughs> i love that leo can laugh at that uh leo looks phenomenal i think that that was brad pitt phenomenal they aging like fine wine i don't know what year this is um I'm not a big movie girl, so maybe that's why some of these things are going over my head. I don't, I don't, um, I just prefer to do other things with my time <laughs> than sit in a movie theater for three hours and watch a movie. That's just, that's just me. Do you. Um, but I do know enough to know that he is not going light on these people. He's not taking it easy at all. <laughs> Even Prince Andrew's like, come on, Leo, mate, you know. <sighs> You're nearly 50, son. Um, the world got to see James Corden as a fat pussy. He was also in the movie Cats, but no one saw that. Um, and the reviews, oh, shocking. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs. Right? <laughs> But Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play, because she... I can't do this next time. <laughs> because she loves nothing better than plonking herself down on the carpet, lifting her leg and licking her own binge. Beer for Apple sure. roared into the, the TV game with a morning show. A superb drama, yeah. A superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing, made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So, if you do win an award tonight, 
They don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right? Why is he doing this? Come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and fuck off, okay? So... It's already three hours long. Tom Hanks! I am Tom Hanks. Like, mm, please don't say anything about me. I'm not going to laugh at you, my peers. Like, he, that was like the picture of what is happening right now. Right, let's do the first award. The first award. <laughs> the first award is for best actor in a television series, musical, or comedy. To present the award, there are a couple of actors off the telly. What can I say? Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. Oh, he's back. He's back. In a little while, we're going to see a, a short clip from The Irishman. Um, it's 88 minutes long. <laughs> In the meantime, here are Sophia Vergara and Matt Bomer. As you know, the meal tonight was all vegetables, as are the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. Why is he going in on the Hollywood Foreign Press like this? Like, he has not let up on them since he started. I'm assuming they're in the house somewhere. Like, these are the people who vote? Is that what it is? They vote for who wins these Golden Globes? What's happening? Please welcome their president, Lorenzo Soria. Knives Out has three nominations tonight. Yeah. See what can happen if you don't dress people up as cats. It's, <laughs> it's that easy. Here are two of the nominated stars, Anna de Armas and Daniel Craig. I've got nothing negative to say about these next two presenters. He's at the bottom the of that beer. Could snap me in half. So please welcome Zoe Kravitz and Jason Momoa. Kill me. We're nearly done. <laughs> Jesus. Three, it's already. <laughs> right, um, last one, last one. Come on, guys. Our next presenter starred in Netflix's Bird Box, a movie where people survive by acting. Like guys, I remember the Bird Box frenzy, and I still have yet to see Bird Box. That just like took me back. That was like the, the beginning of the of the lockdown, right? Like everybody was watching Bird Box. I never watched it. I have a thing about watching things that are super hyped up because I just feel like it doesn't let me. I go into it with too much expectation. I don't like things like that. So I will wait to watch them and then so sometimes wait so long I forget. Maybe I should watch that tonight. Like they don't see a thing. <laughs> sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. You did it. You, I didn't. You did it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please welcome Sandra Bullock. That's it. Good night. Thank you. Please donate to Australia. Have a great time. Get drunk. Take the drugs. <laughs> The crazy thing about that is he, he acted like that the whole time, but this man made probably millions of dollars hosting that show. So he did not not care. Um, that was funny. That was funny. It was. I mean, he 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 told a whole lot of truth. He let a whole lot of people have it. And it, it's always so fun to see people get like super cringe. Um, that was funny. Good job, Ricky Gervais. Uh, you go have the day you deserve. Peace.